Now, Orange Lutheran isn't in the top 10 this season, but that still didn't stop the Lancers from playing like one of the county's elite programs on Thursday night. They forced the Monarchs into committing some uncharacteristic turnovers. These three were in the first half alone. One of the reasons why the Lancers held the Monarchs' explosive offense to just seven points through the first two quarters. And when Will Gonzalez returned the opening kickoff of the second half, 92 yards for the Lancers, the score was tied 7-7. Monarch's defense held its ground plenty of times too on Thursday night, stopping more than one Orange Lutheran drive in its tracks. And in the third quarter, not too long after the Lancers even the score, Max Wittick hooked up with Joshua Cook, putting the Monarchs on the doorstep. After that, Wittick did the rest, rolling over a pile of bodies to score from one yard out. 14-7 modern day. Later in the quarter, Cedric Hill hauled in a short pass from Max Wittick and sprinted in for a 21-yard score, which proved to be the game winner, putting the Monarchs in front of their Trinity League rival 21-7. You know, they've had our numbers the past few years, and uh, you know we came in very, very determined actually to, uh, to you know end that, and we had to have that mindset and that confidence to allow that to happen. And you know, coaching still been in our head all week, and uh, you know he. We did a great job of doing that, and we were very confident coming into this game, and uh, we got it done. This game also marked the return of Corbin Anderson to the lineup, and here was his first carry of the season. It set up Wittick's eight-yard touchdown pass to Victor Blackwell that gave the Monarchs a 7-0 lead. Anderson finished with 115 yards rushing. You know, ultimately, they just they just played better. They they just uh, played better and they out executed us and they you know they deserve all the credit. We had a couple opportunities that we just didn't cash in on and uh, you know and they did what good teams do. You know they make you pay for it and then they cash in on their opportunities. They just they just played a lot better than us tonight. And they you know they deserve to win. We battled very very hard in this football game and, and you know I'm, I'm proud of the kids. That's a good football team, but uh, you know it. it I was concerned because because of the streak and the five and you know when I challenged the kids to put an end to it and fortunately we, we, we got the W and now we'll uh, now it'll get interesting again next week.